Bonjour. Welcome to our channel. And today we will speak about best year around fragrances. Niche fragrances. Niche fragrances. Oh, finally, I, 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 I memorized <laughs> the topic. Yeah, so uh, let's speak in general. What is what is all year round fragrance? What characteristic it should have? So it's something that can be applicable in, in any weather. Yeah. Something not extremely projecting, something mild in projection. Longevity also should be mild. It's something that you can wear every day. It's kind of signature scent that you can wear every time, every day to feel yourself a little bit different that in case if you don't have any fragrance or, or something that you can wear to, the, to your job, to the office, to the work. So it should be something pretty mild with not extra longevity, but good longevity, but not extra longevity. So, yeah, let's start. Yep, let's start. And um, I would say that most of them are unisex. Uh, we choose five fragrances that, in our opinion, absolutely good for every day, comforting for yourself, for comforting for people around you. They're not bothering your nose, but not bothering other people. And exceptionally, you know, we, we live in a world where people are absolutely different, meaning absolutely different, and the feeling of the fragrances, perception of the fragrance is absolutely different. With so many people who have allergies, you always need to consider this when you're wearing perfume in a closed space like office or everyday wear. Yep. And we will start with something, or oh, obviously number one in our store, not last month, but in general, always number one in our store, is mm -hmm. Bois Imperial by Kenton Bish. I know I this. Remember this yeah, I, I know. I know this fragrance so good because we smell it. I, I think every day, because we show show this fragrance almost every day to our customers, especially when the people come and they choosing the uh, the gift and they don't know what to choose for the gift. And I always have this some questions. Uh, and one of the question, what mentality for the person you would like to have a. Uh, to, to give a gift. So if the mentality will be anglophone or francophone, that will be 99% success. Why? Can you explain this fragrance? How it smells for you? It's unique. It's a beautiful scent. It's absolutely unisex. And uh, it's uh, interesting. It will not remind you anything else. It's unusual, specific scent. And it's unusual, but in the same time, it's... Um, like good scent. You, you everyone uh, think it's beautiful. Everyone. So like we we maybe one per percent uh, of our client maybe they will not feel anything. But usually, all yeah. people find it so, uh, like something beautiful. This creation from really famous perfumer Kenton Bish. Um, <laughs> he creates so many many extremely beautiful fragrances like Fleur Narcotique, Delina, and much, much, much more. Even Ganymede. Uh, mm, really so famous. popular. Yeah, all of them are pretty popular. So he he knows how to create really good fragrances. And what Victoria said about the fragrance, that yes, 99% will say, yes, it smells unique, beautiful, and natural. 1% said it's, it smells unique, it's just not my style. But it smells unique and natural. So this fragrance absolutely must pleasing. Though I never felt and hear uh, from any of our customers that I don't like this fragrance. So it's absolutely safe blind buy for any anyone. And uh, if uh, even if you said like um, if you try to push the button and um, and buy accidentally this one. I'm pretty sure that you would like it or your other half would like it. Sometimes, you know, yeah. we, we have all different perceptions of the fragrance. Let's uh, do the breakout uh, of the notes. Do you know what's inside? Mineral notes? Or no. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. So, yeah, the main, main what you encounter just in the first sniff is the freshness of the basil. Also, vetiver. But vetiver, uh, they use a special type of vetiver with, which have a bit of grapefruit aspect so it's slightly slightly like citrusy but it's absolutely slightly more it's just fresh 
natural scent, with uh, vetiver give the more woody, soft woody uh, fragrance uh, style, and Akigala wood, which by itself dry wood with peppery feeling and a black pepper here. So that's basically all. Nothing special, nothing too much, like nothing extremely unique, but I think in because of this simplicity of the structure of the fragrance, it's so mass appealing. We, I think um, there's a trend right now, we are tired of really deep and intense fragrances. Yes. Uh, we want something more close to the nature, nature, especially when you live in a big city, where there's a lot of traffic, not so many parks, not so many green spaces. That's something that you will wear absolutely happily. And we all tired not about like heavy, deep uh, fragrances, because uh, you always find floral, vanilla, yeah. woody, something like you, you have categories yeah. uh, of fragrances. And this one, it's like, it will not go to any categories. Yeah. It's absolutely um, in a different way. Yeah. So it's something uh, new, something else, what we don't like, what we don't have in our, our all these categories. Yeah, agree, agree. Uh, since it's woody, but it's fresh, yeah, it's, it's peppery, it's spicy, but it's not, it's kind of, not a cold, it's cold spicy, it's more like a fresh spicy, yes. so it's, it's, it's hard to categorize these yeah, fragrance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah with, with longevity, longevity depends uh, on your skin, for sure, you need to try it first. On my skin, eight hours, which is really good. For fragrance, which costs one or nine dollars, it's Canadian dollars. In US, it will be even less than one hundred dollars. It's less than most of the mass market fragrances. Yeah. So I think... And it's absolutely a niche fragrance. Yeah. It will stay long. It's different. And the, the quality of ingredients. Yeah. Like you, to you, say it's all natural. Yeah, yeah. Mostly all natural. So it's 92% natural ingredients yeah. in this fragrance. So which so. is uh, which is extremely high as well. Let's move to the yeah, next one. It's yeah, it's we, we, speak, <laughs> we speak too much about this fragrance. It's almost all... Uh, all all our video about one fragrance. We move more faster about the second one. Second one, absolutely uh, basic, I would say, fragrance. But I think everyone should have at least one fragrance from Molecule version. It's uh, Eccentric Molecule is a brand name. And uh, this one is Molecule 1, MO1, or M. Uh, there's a different uh, definition for this fragrance. It's really hard to smell it on a blotter. If you go to the store, to, to your nearest store, to try molecule fragrance, any molecule fragrance, you should try it first, not after two or three fragrances, yeah, well, because you your nose <laughs> will not feel nothing. And on a, on, on a blotter, it smells almost nothing, almost like a pepper. Or on the skin, it starts working on the skin, and the main purpose of this fragrance is to enhance your own scent, adding a bit of, uh, a bit of spices. To you but not spices like just spices a, yeah, yeah a bit something. of sparkle i would say in, mm -hmm. in another way a bit of sparkle uh to your own scent this fragrance based on isoya super only one and note that's and that's it isoya super by itself smells like you probably want to ask how is a super smell <laughs> i don't know <laughs> uh, yeah yeah and on the skin it smells like dry cedar wood so really but extremely extremely soft and fade uh it's just slightly slightly woodsy on your skin but also you can layer in yes yeah this fragrance. yeah this so fragrance uh used in a different way as uh, as a fragrance by itself as a layering base if you use it as a layering base it's extend longevity and projection of the second fragrance that you use on top of this fragrance mm -hmm. so it's um this fragrance is absolutely different absolutely 100 percent unisex and you can wear this fragrance anywhere even in a fragrance free community no one will mm -hmm. understand that exactly. you you have a fragrance they will think that you smell something but they will never guess that you have a fragrance moving to the, to next, the next one, one. next one will be pearl de dubai from uh, le fleur du golf this brand from france dubai and now uh, what i can say about this fragrance this fragrance more in a fruity style i tried to get different types of the fragrance so woody molecular fruity, fruity. a little bit gourmand so fruity vanilla here <laughs> yeah vanilla yeah but this this one is a mild one it's not extremely yeah. projecting even though it's uh, produced in dubai only this fragrance from the brand is really soft and calming yeah. it starts with a slightly peach 
which move to vanilla and um, and a woody. Mm-hmm. But again, but it's light. Again, really soft, light, and comforting. That's something that you would would if you like gourmand fragrances in like in general. But you need gourmand fragrance for everyday use, more more close to your skin, like something not too projecting. Yeah, so it's vanilla and gourmand lovers. You knew sex as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I see some guys who who really like because like if you like gourmand, gourmand is absolutely unisex. Do- doesn't matter yeah. if it's uh, vanilla. Doesn't matter about the gender. And nowadays, actually, no one cares about gender in the, in the fragrance setting. Agree. And um, we move next to the floral section. So if you're in the floral, uh, in the floral yeah. vibes, but you would like to have something like light, relaxing, I would recommend Bay Bottle. Decent. What is this? This fragrance something in the style of Delina Parfum de Mali, but much less powdery, more floral. So it's peony with a pink pepper. It's just liquid peony with a pink pepper, but again, really, really airy. Airy and um, I cannot say it's aquatic. It's but it's something like right, uh, light and refreshing. It's, it's fresh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's not. Like usually we have like floral yeah. scents. It's too fresh. Yeah, it's it's pre it's absolutely good for the daytime. I think the naming yeah, absolutely good. It's a decent and it's reminding me about the decent girl. So if if you like the style of the florals of uh, Parfum de Mali of Delina or Fleur Narcotique, something like this, or but you want something not so projecting because it's. Because it's everyday fragrance. It's impossible to always smell like five feet from you. Uh, it's impossible. It just uh, sometimes uh, people are tired from you, uh, and this this is something comforting. Longevity is about four to six hours, depends how it works on your skin, which is really good for the office time, like for your working time. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and this this is a pretty uh, musky peony and pink pepper fragrance, which is. Pretty floral, airy, and light for everyday use. Yeah. And um, at, at least one we should, I think, like if, yeah, and this one will be more feminine. Mm-hmm. So I would like to have different opinion, like different fragrance, which will be a little bit more masculine mm-hmm. because like yeah. we, we, we cannot do, it will be unfair. Like, you know, like um, that will be Casamarati, Sergio uh, fragrance, Mephisto. So this fragrance is about more green freshness. Some can compare it to the style of Aventus, or even not Aventus, more like Silver Mountain Water Mm -hmm. from Creed. But it's less sharp, much more rounded. It's starting with the citruses of bergamot, lemon, and... um, But not strong. Yeah, yeah, and lavender. So it's really, really soft, rounded. Bit of rose and um, iris. It have a little bit of powderiness, mm-hmm. but I think uh, in office style, it's really important to have this feeling of the clean vibes mm-hmm. and uh, this powdery vibes from iris. They they provide us with this feeling of the clean, relaxing vibes. Slight ambery and woody. Um, I cannot I cannot say much more about this fragrance. It's something that you would like to wear in a, in a uh, in office, office to f- yeah, program. to feel yourself mm-hmm. clean, successful, and um, and a bit refreshed. Mm-hmm. Agree. And um, I would say this fragrance is a little bit more masculine, but I see some girls who like this. Yeah, so because it can I think be. That, yeah, yeah uh, I I would say like this is unisex, which leaning to the masculine side, but not over masculine. So this is our five fragrances. Fragrances, that, yeah. Yeah. Would you like to rate it? For sure, first, <laughs> second, third, fourth, fifth. Hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> In my opinion, um, it depends. If you are a lady, it should be one, two, three, four, five. If you if you are a guy, you need to say about your opinion. Okay, my opinion. <laughs> that will be hard, you know. So hard. Okay, first this one. No, I, I like more molecular too. 
Uh, I personally like more molecular too because this one is woody and uh, I'm like not a fan of too much woody. Yeah, I would say this one is first, this one is second, even though it's more feminine. I just like the smell. This one is third, and uh, this one is fourth, and this one is fifth. Yep. Tell me us. <laughs> Tell us your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your opinion, yeah, about these uh, fragrances. Maybe you sh can suggest us something else. Uh, or what is your everyday fragrance? That will be uh, really interesting to, to know as well. Yeah. And thank you for watching. And Subscribe, comment, and in the next video. See you.